TouchWiz, TouchWiz, TouchWiz. Oh, TouchWiz. Samsung's cell phone is phone so always generates wars between those who love it and hate it. I personally don't think it's really a big deal going nuts over what they've done here. It's faster, has so many useful features and doesn't deter me from Android. Anyways, people will always complain but this is how to turn your Galaxy Note 7, S7, S7 Edge or even Note 5 or any new Samsung device into a Nexus. I obviously can provide an Android N update as that's Google and Samsung's job. My job here is getting you closest to a Nexus experience. This is for both users with or without road and custom recovery. Users with road and custom recovery will obviously get more and a better Nexus experience. Everything is linked down below in the description. First we have a Nexus wallpaper which is in the description so get that and change your wallpaper. Next you can replace your TouchWiz launcher with either Google Now launcher or the new Nexus launcher. Pick the one you like or even both. For me I prefer Nova launcher. Then Google phone app. You can replace your dialer app by using Google's phone app. This app lets you call your contacts in the same fashion as a Nexus user. Just grab the APK and install. You don't have to change the look of TouchWiz using a theme which is free called Material Design. This is awesome and gives Samsung phones a real Nexus look everywhere. Whether it be the settings, notification, pull down or icons. The last thing you can do is disable apps. You can disable annoying apps Samsung has pre-installed and using something like Package Disabler from the Play Store does that in the best way possible. Unfortunately, here's where a non-rooted user's journey ends. If you're rooted and have a custom recovery, you can do everything above and then some, like deleting all Samsung stuff on your phone using the debloader script. This doesn't remove stuff like themes, settings and such, just Samsung APKs that only Samsung employees will love. Next you can flash Nexus Launcher which gives you the Google Now swipe from the left and no frequent crashes like what happens when you install just the APK. You can change your status bar icons with either Samsung Good Luck or an exposed framework module called Flat Style Status Bar Indicators. You can even go as far as changing the boot animation with these two files and using the Root Explorer file manager to move them to the system folder. While there, check properties. For the standard boot animation file, change the attributes to exactly what you see on the screen until the number turns 755. Do this for the boot animation zip file and make it turn 644. After this, move the zip file to the media folder in system. Move the normal boot animation file to the boot folder in system. Upon reboot, you should see something Google waiting for you. You can add Android and notification tiles with an exposed module called Anyfy. With that, you get a Nexus-ish experience on your Galaxy S7, Note 7, S7 Edge or any new Samsung device. Something to note is you can install this on any ROM, but if you still crave more Nexus, you can flash your whole ROM like this. All debloated and everything done. So that's it for this video and if you like it, please leave me a thumbs up. Also if you want to see more in the future, then subscribe to my channel. Check out my previous video where I go crazy about the state of full cover temporary glass screen protectors for Samsung's newest phones. Bye.